Globus sensation, or globus pharyngeus, is a common feeling of a lump in the throat with no physical blockage. It causes distress and anxiety. This video will explain its diagnosis, causes, and treatments, including psychological factors, muscle dysfunction, speech therapy, medications, surgery, and prognosis. Globus sensation is diagnosed based on persistent or intermittent lump sensation in the throat for over three months. Classification differentiates it from other throat disorders, aiding accurate identification and management. In the two, differential diagnosis of globus sensation, it is important to distinguish it from conditions like pharyngitis, tonsillitis, and laryngitis. Clinical presentation, examination findings, and diagnostic tests are used to differentiate these disorders accurately. Upper endoscopy is used to visualize the pharynx and esophagus in patients with globus sensation. It helps identify structural issues and inflammation, guiding treatment decisions. Biopsies can also be obtained. Laryngoscopy and voice assessment are important tools in diagnosing and managing globus sensation. Laryngoscopy examines the larynx and vocal folds for abnormalities, while voice assessment evaluates voice quality. These tests help rule out conditions and guide treatment decisions for globus sensation. Radiological imaging, including CT and MRI, is crucial for evaluating the pharynx and esophagus in globus sensation. They provide detailed images, helping identify causes like masses or anatomical variations. These techniques also assess related structures like the cervical spine, thyroid gland, and blood vessels. This aids in planning management strategies. Psychogenic globus sensation is caused by psychological factors like anxiety and stress. Its exact mechanisms are not fully understood, but sensitivity to throat sensations, altered sensory processing, and autonomic nervous system imbalance play roles. Patients often report correlations between emotional distress and symptoms. Recognizing the psychogenic cause is important for a multidisciplinary approach involving psychological interventions. Healthcare professionals can provide personalized care by understanding the underlying mechanisms. Psychiatric evaluation plays a pivotal role in patients with chronic globus sensation, especially in cases where psychological factors are believed to contribute significantly to the symptoms. During psychiatric evaluation, healthcare professionals assess the patient's mental health and emotional well-being to identify any underlying psychiatric conditions, such as generalized anxiety disorder or depression. By addressing these underlying psychological factors, clinicians can develop a holistic treatment plan that includes appropriate counseling, psychotherapy, or pharmacotherapy. Collaborative care involving psychiatric and otolaryngology specialists provides the most comprehensive approach for patients with chronic globus sensation. Recognizing the importance of psychiatric evaluation ensures that patients receive the appropriate psychological interventions needed for symptom improvement and psychosocial well-being. Muscle dysfunction in the pharynx and upper esophageal sphincter UES, can cause globus sensation. This results in a feeling of a lump or throat obstruction. Therapy focused on muscle rehabilitation and retraining can improve swallowing function and reduce symptoms. Speech and swallowing therapy is essential in managing globus sensation by addressing muscle dysfunction and improving swallowing. Speech language pathologists assess and treat voice, speech, and swallowing disorders. They use exercises, relaxation techniques, and postural modifications to rehabilitate muscles and improve swallowing function. The goal is to reduce the lump sensation and enhance quality of life in a comprehensive approach. Pharmacological treatments like proton pump inhibitors, PPIs, and muscle relaxants can be used alongside other therapies to manage globus sensation. PPIs reduce stomach acid and alleviate symptoms of GERD, while muscle relaxants address muscle tension that may worsen symptoms. Medications should be tailored to each patient and potential side effects considered. Using pharmacological therapies can provide symptomatic relief and enhance overall management of globus sensation. In cases where conservative treatments and medications fail to alleviate globus sensation or when anatomical abnormalities are identified, surgical interventions may be considered. One surgical option is cricopharyngeal myotomy, a procedure aimed at dividing the abnormal muscle band causing dysfunction in the upper esophageal sphincter. This procedure helps alleviate symptoms by addressing the underlying muscle pathology. However, surgical interventions for globus sensation are relatively rare and reserved for refractory cases. Extensive evaluation, appropriate patient selection, and thorough counseling are crucial before considering surgical options. By being aware of the available surgical interventions, clinicians can offer patients alternative treatment options when conservative measures prove ineffective. The long-term outcomes and prognosis of globus sensation vary depending on the underlying etiology and response to treatment. In many cases, globus sensation resolves with time or improves with appropriate management strategies targeting the identified causative factors. 
Patients with psychogenic globus sensation may require longer-term therapeutic interventions to address the psychological aspects contributing to their symptoms fully. It is essential for healthcare professionals to provide patients with appropriate education about the expected course of globus sensation and the importance of adherence to recommended treatments. By providing realistic expectations and individualized care, clinicians can empower patients to actively participate in their treatment and optimize long-term outcomes. In conclusion, globus sensation is a complex condition that requires a comprehensive approach for evaluation and treatment. Understanding the diagnostic criteria, differentiating from other throat disorders, and using various diagnostic tools are crucial. Psychological factors, muscle dysfunction, therapy, medications, and surgery are all important aspects of management. By considering all these aspects, healthcare professionals can effectively improve symptoms and quality of life for patients with globus sensation.